He's also in an unchanged Manchester United team, which includes England men number four, Ray Wilkins, and number seven, Steve Coppel. Number of United players looking for an injection of confidence, especially Gary Birtles, number eight, still looking for his first league goal for United after 27 games. Ipswich also unchanged. Mick Mills and Russell Osman in the England squad. Franz Tyson and Arnold Muren called up by Holland and John Walk by Scotland. It's the team that won the UFA Cup last season with two other internationals, George Burley and Kevin Beatty, still on the injured list. New manager of Manchester United, Ron Atkinson. So in bright sunshine, referee Brian Martin of Keyworth in Nottinghamshire gets the match underway. Ipswich in white shirts, playing from right to left. There's John Walk, who passed a fitness test after a groin strain. Header by Arthur Augustin. And across comes Russell Osman. Neither of these sides has yet experienced the luxury of three points for a win under the new system. Here's Marinette. Makari's tackle. Franz Tyson with Mick Mills coming up outside. Little ball in for Eric Gates. Goal kick. Osman taking Stapleton there and uh, Butcher for that moment marking Bertels. Martin Buchan. And now here's Augustin. Sammy McElroy playing wide on the left for Manchester United. Stapleton. Free kick given. Offside against Gary Bertels. impression in the first five minutes was that Stapleton got a bit of a pull at the back of the leg. Uh, it's being marked by Russell Osman, but he may be able to run that off. This is Bertels. Stapleton. Nice turn. Not a good ball. Tyson for Ipswich. Is Muren. Steve McCall. That's Walk. And Muren bringing it down very neatly indeed. Gates, McCall. The two Dutchmen combining again here. Muren looking up to see Alan Brazil going through. And a fine ball to him by Muren, and Brazil is in here, and he scores. So simple. Alan Brazil, the scorer. And Arnold Muren made it possible. That educated left foot of the Dutch international threading the ball through the centre of the Manchester United defence. Alan Brazil running on. The ball bounced kindly for him, and he finished it. And despite suffering from a trapped nerve in his left foot, Alan Brazil has now scored in consecutive matches. And Ipswich take the lead here after seven minutes. Muren. Well, there was a gaping hole down the centre of the home defence then. Brazil's touch out to Mills. Here's Tyson. Referee penalising Sammy McElroy for the trip on Mick Mills. Here's Mills again. Pulls it back. Osman shot. Augustin. Bertels. It's a good turn by Gary Bertels. Here's Steve Coppel. John Gidman outside him. Coppel shot strikes Butcher. 
And Mills has got a chance to put Brazil away again here, and he has. McQueen got caught there. Still Brazil. Here's Eric Gates coming through, and very nearly the second. Well, Manchester United's defence at the moment has a very soft centre. That's one for Stapleton to chase. And he got there, and he scored! His first goal in the league for Manchester United, Frank Stapleton. A very similar goal to the one that Ipswich scored. The pass actually came from Martin Buchan, who pushed the ball forward some distance, and Stapleton got ahead of Osman and finished well. So, inside the first quarter of an hour, one each. Popper. Augustin. Popple on. There's McElroy with Wilkins going in as well. Gidman. Gets it back from Buchan. Wilkins. Bertles. And the ball won there for Ipswich initially by Tyson. There's McElroy, and there goes Bertels. Butcher's header. Walk. That's Bailey's. That was on by Bertels. Makari nipping in here, wasn't a very good pass back by the skipper McMills, but Makari lifting his foot at the goalkeeper will be penalised for dangerous play. Now walk. Oh, good running by Franz Tyson down the right. There are three Ipswich players waiting for a cross. Here's Brazil. That's a nice turn by him, and Lou Macari is back. Now, the reason Macari was back there was that he's marking John Walk and vice versa. And because Walk was hovering, waiting for the chance to score, Macari was doing a marking job, and very successfully too. That's awkward, and that's a chance, and it's gone in. And Johnny Walk is the scorer, having just been deprived of a goal by Lou Macari, he scores from the resulting corner. It was taken by Eric Gates, knocked on, and Walk came in to finish it off. So the man that scored all those goals last season, 36 in all, has now scored two in the league this season, and he's put it switched back in front here. There's Bertels. Gates. Nine from 
the slagging there against Alan Brazil. And there's a free kick to Manchester United. Taken by Wilkins, here's Martin Buchan. And here's Wilkins again. Out to McElroy. Headed on by Bertels, here's Stapleton, here's Cobble. Wilkins touched on by Stapleton, McCall should clear it. This time for the second corner by Terry Butcher. Rise across to Steve Popple. Oh, and a header at the far post by Stapleton into the side netting. Well, confusion there in the Ipswich goal now. The ball coming through that crowd of players to Steve Popple, who miscued, and Frank Stapleton couldn't convert what had become a cross into a goal. Goals. Here come Manchester United looking for an offside. And Tyson there gets the better of Alberston. He could find Mills perhaps here. Oh well, <laughs> didn't quite get that far. That terrific tangle. The referee has said, well, let's play on. And Mariner goes up with Bailey. While the other players are still picking themselves up on the far side. Here commits switch once more with Alan Brazil. Oh, it's Mariner here. And Manchester United central defenders are all over the place. Brazil knocked that ball in. McQueen, who was favourite for it, couldn't get to it. It went over him to Mariner. And then he beat Buchan as the United captain tried to intercept. Stapleton. That's Bertels up. Stapleton looking for a chance to get a header in, but the referee brings the first half to an end. Ron Atkinson's Manchester United have made an unsteady start to the season and it continues here. A goal down, then back on terms, a goal down again and somewhat at odds at the back as Ipswich go in at half-time, leading by two goals to one. As recently as June, there wasn't a blade of grass on this pitch at Old Trafford. It's been completely relayed in the last two months. And Manchester United, who are now attacking the Stretford end, hopefully it will prove a better pitch than the one they had here before, which gave them a few problems over the last couple of seasons. Time will tell, and time will also tell for the new Manchester United under Ron Atkinson. Here's Brazil, meantime, for Ipswich, and here's Mariner. He was looking towards Arnold Muren to his left, Here's Gidman, Makari, Koppel, Stapleton, Makari, that's nice by Makari, he's such a bright player, injured as he took the shot, and not very happy about the late challenge, as he's about to reveal to the referee. But that was typical of Makari. He doesn't need much room in which to work. And now McElroy. 
play switching fast from one penalty area to the other. This is Bertels to Makari. McElroy. Makari. Koppel. Sets one up for Wilkins to find uh, Gidman. between Makari and Tyson. Makari's won it, driven it across, away by Butcher. Good header out. Gidman. McElroy. Oh, and Cooper again. Popple. Just think Cooper and his own defenders are getting a little tangled when he comes for the cross. And Manchester United have got the momentum going here. Gidman. Mipswich not clearing the ball very convincingly. Gordon McQueen. gone and Manchester United trail by two goals to one Tyson to walk Mariner with Buchan I'm uh, just beginning to wonder as Brazil gets the ball here about a substitution for Manchester United here's Gates certainly it looks as though team out there are finding it hard to make headway but John Gidman has pushed forward in this attack this is Koppel on the ball three others well forward and Mills gets a back header on it this is McElroy Osman's header this time and Gates clearance Gidman, Koppel, Wilkins, Stapleton, tackle was by Tyson just inside the area, Stapleton thought he was in with a chance of a penalty, nothing doing. Gidman, well, they've got so many players forward, Manchester United, that they could get caught in their own trap on the break. That's a terrific ball by John Walk to Alan Brazil. And his first touch might have been better. However, there are still three players in the centre. Gates is unmarked on the far post. Here's Murin. This is Tyson. What a lovely effort by the... Dutch international it was walking pace there for a moment Tyson brought the game virtually to a standstill but he still had too much skill for the defenders and his left foot shot was just swerving away from that far post Bertels Makari good flick McElroy Blocked by Butcher. Orbiston. Wilkins. Gidman, there's a player on his... Uh, McElroy, in fact, has limped off. He's now not offside. He's off the pitch, in fact. Gidman. And Cooper needing two attempts to smother that, but he's there now. <laughs> One of the great characters of the game, Paul Cooper. He always sees the funny side of football when he can. And uh, he landed there with the ball in the end at the feet of Lou Macari. Sammy McElroy, incidentally, had just uh, left the pitch to avoid being offside. But there's going to be a Manchester United substitution, and I think he's the one coming off. Mike Duxbury, a member of the England under-21 setup.
gets a big cheer with nine minutes to go then he comes on that's a very good ball again from Arnold Neeran to Brazil Mariner is on the far side of the area Gates is inside Muran again Brazil onside Fed in by Miran as uh, Buchan heads it clear. Here's Brazil again. McCall driving it in for Walk. And Gates getting away from Orbiston. Did he impede him? Penalty. Orbiston on Gates. Now John Walk holds the Ipswich Town all-time penalty record. Although the last kick he took, funnily enough, was missed in a pre-season tournament in Barcelona and Gary Bailey, the uh, Manchester United goalkeeper son of a former Ipswich player has to face this one and saves it so Walks now miss two in a row Gary Bailey actually was saying to me yesterday he once saved three penalties in a match against Ipswich a couple of seasons ago at Portman Road, although Walk didn't take those, and he keeps the record up. So, Manchester United kept in the match by their goalkeeper. Bertels in time now being added on for stoppages by the referee who gets in the way of Duxbury and might have helped Ipswich to clinch the match this is Muran with Brazil making a run to his left but uh, it's been checked now looking for Koppel but that was cut out by Terry Butcher so Ipswich Town who've lost on this ground for the past three seasons reversed that sequence with a 2-1 win and have got a win and two draws so far this season in their three league matches three points clinched by John Walk's goal after 27 minutes he later missed a penalty but as far as Manchester United are concerned a most unhappy start to the season three matches only one point and two of those games at home